Today we're gonna make it a traditional tomato sauce. This tomato sauce is gonna be only with fresh tomatoes, a little basil, olive oil, and salt. That's it. Three to four ingredients, one being optional. Super easy and it's gonna make you never wanna buy jarred or canned tomatoes ever again. The sauce is so good, gonna make you wanna smack your nonna. Come with us and we'll show you how to do it, all right? We on a mission when we in the kitchen, we whipping the dough, yeah. Rose they blowing the battle like it never met it, we been here before, yeah. And it's never basic whenever we make it. Under the influence of intoxicated. Pushing the mug, whipping the pot, cook with a buzz. Give it a shot. Toss me a Heineken using the key and hooking the top. The liquor entice, all of the rice, you cooking a pot, yeah. And this the life, if you ever in the mood for maybe a few drinks. And some bomb ass, bomb ass. Ooh, we making bomb ass food. Just one shot won't do. Not tonight, because if I'm not hungover, then you know it isn't right. Alrighty, y'all, so we're, when it comes to tomato sauce with fresh tomatoes, you want to use the Roma tomatoes. I have a lot here. Um, you obviously, you have all sorts of different tomatoes. These are from the garden. You got some nice heirloom tomatoes. These are persimmon tomatoes. These are uh, sun greens, great tomatoes. These are really nice because kind of like a citrusy kind of tomato but you want to stick to the Romas. Let me put these back. Now, you want the best kind of Roma tomato you can get. Go to your farmer's market, grow them if you can, and you really want them kind of almost over ripen. And that'll just really bring a real robust flavor to the, uh, to the sauce we're trying to make here. And uh, so what we're gonna do off start off with is we're gonna take them and we're gonna take all of our tomatoes and we're gonna just kind of score it at the bottom because what we're doing is we're gonna peel these later so if we score them later they'll be way easier to peel right so we got a pot of water that's boiling starting to get to a boil over there the plan is to drop them into the water we're not cooking them we're just blanching them and that's gonna make it a lot easier to peel later on. So we're gonna finish scoring these. Just take it, grab your you know, paring knife and just make a nice little X. Easy, Bob's your uncle. We're gonna finish these off and then once we get our water boiling, we'll move on to what we gotta do next. So just give me a minute, score all these tomatoes. And we're gonna need about four pounds of the Romas. So we have our water at a nice boil. Now remember, we're not cooking, we're just blanching. So I would take a couple, watch your fingers, and we're gonna put these in the boiling water for about two, three minutes. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna kind of like make the skin easier to work with. By cooking it with the, with the slits there, we can actually have an area where we can peel our tomatoes. So just a couple minutes, again, we're not cooking, we're just blanching. Take a spider, or in our case a strainer, because I don't own a spider, I should buy one. So we're gonna let that go just for a little bit. And then once we've had like, you know, two minutes maybe, we're gonna take them out, let it strain, just like that, and we're gonna shock it in a bowl of ice water. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna completely halt the cooking process, which is what we want because we just want to be able to peel the skin off. So again, just take a couple. We're gonna put them in our boiling water here. Watch your fingers. And we're gonna just let that go for a couple minutes and then we'll shock. As you can see, we have boiled or we blanched and shocked and you can just see the skin is just so easily peeled. And why we're peeling this is because it's just gonna make our sauce that much smoother. Tomato sauce is one of the most important sauces in cooking. Again, that's why we call it a mother sauce. Shoot. Because you take this and as, use it as a base for so many things. You've already seen us do it. We made so many sauces on this channel with just tomato as the base. We've done the, uh, we've done the vodka sauce, we've done the, the, uh, what was that sauce called? The one with the bacon, the uh, Amatriciana. And that we use to tomato sauce as the base. So it's a very important sauce, but not just sauces, you can use it for braising, all sorts of stuff. So being able to make a tomato sauce from fresh tomatoes is extremely, almost lost that one, extremely important. 
So we're just gonna keep peeling and then we'll move on to the next step when we're ready for that. It's just gonna take me a hot minute. So we have our tomatoes all peeled and ready to go. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna dice them up. Just cut them in half and just give it a nice even dice. It could be a rough chop, doesn't really matter. Just as long as they are diced up. Take them, put them into a separate bowl here. These are beautiful Romas. Just nice and easy, nothing crazy. These are all gonna get macerated anyway, so it doesn't really matter how they're cut. You don't even really have to cut them, but it just makes life a little easier. Nice, easy, just a rough chop. If you were feeling like really, you're trying to be really impressive or like you're running a French bistro, you can even take these out and peel all the seeds out, but I like the rustic, seedy feel to it. Alrighty, so we cut all of our tomatoes. Nice, nice, nice. We're gonna put it into a saucepan, or a pot, excuse me. And what we're gonna do now is we're going to lightly salt this. We're not seasoning, we're trying to aid the tomatoes into kind of releasing, releasing their juices. And we're going to just kind of boil this over. You don't have to constantly stir it. I'm just kind of uh, agitating the tomatoes to kind of distribute all that salt. And we're going to let this go until everything gets super soft. So it's going to take a little bit. I would say maybe 15, 15, 20 minutes. Keep it on like medium high. You'll start seeing everything kind of coming together. So you can see that the uh, tomatoes are starting to release all their liquids. If you get in real close here, you can see it. It's quite a lot. So we're just gonna keep working and stirring occasionally. These will start to get softer and softer and then we can start kind of mushing it all together. You'll, it sounds gross when I'm making it. You'll see when we get there. So everything's getting pretty soft. So what we can do now is we can start pushing and smushing up on the side of the pan here. This will be easier if you have a real wooden spoon. I literally cannot find mine. So I got this wooden, I don't even know what you want to call this. This wooden nun weapon. But yeah, you can kind of just smush it. You could even puree it, but I like the rustic kind of chunky sauce. But again, we're still not really at that point yet. So it'll be easier once these even get softer. But we'll get there, we'll get there. Stick with me, we'll make this sauce really nice. All right, so the sauce is saucing. Everything's soft, it's chunky. Now we have all this liquid, which we wanted. We're gonna let this reduce down into a thick sauce. So while that's reducing, something I should have added before, I totally forgot. We're gonna add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. That'll add a nice body to the sauce. Just a couple like uh, little glugs of that. Use your own discretion for that. And I like to add some basil, just some nice aromatics. And we're gonna let this reduce down. We're not gonna start seasoning yet with salt and pepper because remember, this is gonna be reducing. And when we reduce stuff, I feel like I say this all the time, when we reduce stuff, the flavor, all of that gets really concentrated. We're taking the water out and we're concentrating what remains and the flavor will be 10 times over. So you don't wanna season now because if it tastes seasoned and nice, when it reduces, it's gonna be salty as hell. <laughs> so we're gonna let this reduce and then we'll come back when the sauce is getting to that next point there. All right, don't go anywhere. So the sauce has reduced to a little bit less than half of the remaining liquid. We got nice chunks. I wish I had a proper spoon so I can, my wooden spoon has just gone AWOL on me. There we go. We'll use our less Italian plastic spoon, silicone. Yeah, see, that's what you're looking for. It's nice, rustic, and chunky. It's really all you want. Like I said, you could put this in an immersion blender, you blend it up, and then strain it if you want it super silky and, you know, clear. Uh, that's stupid. I like the nice chunky sauce. At this point now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna salt it. 
And you just do it to, to taste. And we're gonna add some black pepper. I like a lot of pepper. And we're gonna stir it up, we'll give it a try, see what that tastes like. Yeah, well, that's good. And then we're just gonna kinda let all the seasonings get together. And that's pretty much it. You can put this over your spaghetti, you can even put it with meatballs, you can put it wherever you want, you know? It's a nice, delicious, three ingredient, one being optional, the basil sauce. Now, at this point, because it's done, you could jar it up, save it for tonight. Let it cool down first, though, if you're gonna jar your sauce. Let her cool down because if you take hot sauce and put it in the fridge, it will go sour. All right, you wanna make sure this comes to room temp before storing it in a cold area. That goes with any sauce or any foods like that. And that's it, I'll bring it over here and get a better look. Good old fashioned grandma sauce. Not much more you can really want. So if you guys find yourself liking this video, give us a like, comment, subscribe, share this recipe. Uh, if you're an Italian, ask your grandma if this is kind of how she makes it. And let me know. Give us kind of what you think in the comments. And that'll be it, guys. Thanks for coming by. Have a beer on me. <laughs>